Venice is a city in northeastern Italy and the capital of the Veneto region. It is built on a group of 118 small islands that are separated by canals and linked by over 400 bridges. The islands are in the shallow Venetian lagoon, an enclosed bay lying between the mouths of the Po and the Piave rivers, more exactly between the Brenta and the Sile. In 2020, 258,685 people resided in the Commune di Venezia, of whom around 55,000 live in the historical city of Venice. Together with Padua and Treviso, the city is included in the Padua Treviso Venice metropolitan area, which is considered a statistical metropolitan area, with a total population of 2.6 million. The name is derived from the ancient Veneti people who inhabited the region by the 10th century BC. The city was historically the capital of the Republic of Venice for over a millennium, from 697 to 1797. It was a major financial and maritime power during the Middle Ages and Renaissance, and a staging area for the Crusades and the Battle of Lepanto, as well as an important center of commerce, especially silk, grain, and spice, and of art from the 13th century to the end of the 17th. The city-state of Venice is considered to have been the first real international financial center, emerging in the 9th century and reaching its greatest prominence in the 14th century. This made Venice a wealthy city throughout most of its history. After the Napoleonic Wars and the Congress of Vienna, the Republic was annexed by the Austrian Empire, until it became part of the Kingdom of Italy in 1866, following a referendum held as a result of the Third Italian War of Independence. Venice has been known as, La Dominante, La Serenissima, Queen of the Adriatic, City of Water, City of Masks, City of Bridges, The Floating City, and, City of Canals. The lagoon and a part of the city are listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Parts of Venice are renowned for the beauty of their settings, their architecture, and artwork. Venice is known for several important artistic movements, especially during the Renaissance period and has played an important role in the history of instrumental and operatic music, and is the birthplace of Baroque composers Tommaso Albanoni and Antonio Vivaldi. Although the city is facing some challenges, including an excessive number of tourists and problems caused by pollution, tide peaks and cruise ships sailing too close to buildings, Venice remains a very popular tourist destination, a major cultural center, and has been ranked many times the most beautiful city in the world. It has been described by the Times Online as one of Europe's most romantic cities and by the New York Times as, undoubtedly the most beautiful city built by man. Venice is an important destination for tourists who want to see its celebrated art and architecture. The city hosts up to 60,000 tourists per day, 2017 estimate. Estimates of the annual number of tourists vary from 22 million to 30 million. This, over-tourism, creates overcrowding and environmental problems for Venice's ecosystem. By 2017, UNESCO was considering the addition of Venice to its in danger list, which includes historical ruins in war torn countries. To reduce the number of visitors, who are causing irreversible changes in Venice, the agency supports limiting the number of cruise ships as well as implementing a strategy for more sustainable tourism. Tourism has been a major part of the Venetian economy since the 18th century, when Venice, with its beautiful cityscape, uniqueness, and rich musical and artistic cultural heritage, was a stop on the Grand Tour. In the 19th century, Venice became a fashionable center for the rich and famous, who often stayed and dined at luxury establishments such as the Danieli Hotel and the Café Florian, and continued to be a fashionable city into the early 20th century. In the 1980s, the Carnival of Venice was revived, and the city has become a major center of international conferences and festivals, such as the prestigious Venice Biennale and the Venice Film Festival, which attract visitors from all over the world for their theatrical, cultural, cinematic, artistic, and musical productions. Today, there are numerous attractions in Venice, such as St. Mark's Basilica, the Doge's Palace, the Grand Canal, and the Piazza San Marco. The Lido di Venezia is also a popular international luxury destination, attracting thousands of actors, critics, celebrities, and others in the cinematic industry. The city also relies heavily on the cruise business. The Cruise Venice Committee has estimated that cruise ship passengers spend more than 150 million euros, 193 million United States dollars, annually in the city, according to a 2015 report. Other reports, however, point out that such day-trippers spend relatively little in the few hours of their visits to the city. 
Venice is regarded by some as a tourist trap, and by others as a living museum. Unlike most other places in Western Europe, and the world, Venice has become widely known for its element of elegant decay. The competition for foreigners to buy homes in Venice has made prices rise so high that numerous inhabitants are forced to move to more affordable areas of Veneto and Italy. Venice's economy has changed throughout history. Although there is little specific information about the earliest years, it is likely that an important source of the city's prosperity was the trade in slaves, captured in Central Europe and sold to North Africa and the Levant. Venice's location at the head of the Adriatic, and directly south of the terminus of the Brenner Pass over the Alps, would have given it a distinct advantage as a middleman in this important trade. In the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, Venice was a major center for commerce and trade, as it controlled a vast sea empire, and became an extremely wealthy European city and a leader in political and economic affairs.